When I originally launched Bodhi in summer of 2016, I had the intention of launching a brand made from antique textiles. And using technology, we can preserve the integrity within the new garment. The entire narrative around this use of domestic textiles is about the preservation of craft and the retelling of these narratives that would otherwise be lost or discarded. Some of the biggest challenges to growth are putting the right processes in place that allow us to scale as a business yes. whose foundation is based on the use of antique materials. People come in here and they not only want to hear the history of the textile, but they also want to know how we came to source this fabric. We're moving so fast and we're scaling so quickly. And I think it's really important to have a destination and a process in and around this information that we're collecting. Ayushi, hey, I'm just wondering if these are only the smalls have been done, is that correct? I was originally interested in archiving all of our quilts and scraps in a purely physical way. AI allows us to expedite the process of finding specific intricacies of quilt block patterns, something that was a really time-intensive process. Um, do you want me to get the cigar? Yeah, all right, I'll have it. We used to use technology sort of on a very entry-level way. Once our product offerings expanded, it was unfeasible for us to continue using that method. The Bodhi Vault is an AI-powered quilt expert that uses Microsoft pattern recognition and computer vision to identify and catalog antique textiles for preservation and creative use. I love this idea of having a program that people can refer back to over and over and over again that only gets smarter with the more data that you put in. Because AI can learn over time, it allows us to want to invest in archiving. I believe this technology can be used not only to keep an archive for our own use, but I believe that it can begin to teach others little intricacies that would otherwise be lost.